Okay, what we see here is the hitch peg and the link peg. Uh, these parts are best modeled by doing a revolve, and they're also done with parameters. Uh, with Inventor and with Fusion, it's much more powerful because Autodesk loves math. Therefore, these equations allow you to model the part with parametric equations and modify it and for as soon as you modify the variables uh, in the equations one one change modifies the entire part um, we can still use parametric variables but they always have to be defined values so let's investigate how that works with on shape first thing we want to do is define all of our variables so first of all let's to find the radius would be 0 0.03125 and then the length which is a quarter inch and then the height is 0.325 and finally the spherical radius which will do SR for short for that 0.1562 so we've defined all our variables again with fusion or inventor those variables would be one variable defined and the rest with equations. Um, on shape requires us to use defined values. Then we'll do a sketch on the front sketch plane and let's get good eyes connect to the origin and we'll just eyeball a short little segment connected to the origin and then we'll come up draw a vertical line and then let's draw a center point arc, making sure you're not at the midpoint, connected to the top. And looks like maybe we should start putting some dimensions on here. So then this dimension should be the radius. So if you just start typing radius and then hit the hashtag radius, it'll automatically rescale it. And then this dimension here, that would be the length, or no, that's the height. And then this one would be the spherical radius. And then let's just eyeball and finish with a couple more line segments. And I just drew it so that it overlapped. And then I'll do some trimming. And then I'll add one more dimension here. And that would be the length. So now there's the entire profile for the link peg. We can finish the sketch, select the revolve tool, select the profile, select the axis we want to revolve around, complete it, and then finally add a 0 0.01 chamfer to the end. Okay, so that would be the link peg. Okay, and again, we get two parts for the price of one here. Right click on Part Studio 6 and duplicate it. So that gives me exactly the same part. Or so let's come over here and rename this as Hitch Peg. And then in order to get the Hitch Peg, all we need to do is change our variables. So the radius is now an eighth of an inch. The length is a half an inch, the height is 0.65 inches, and the spherical radius is 0 0.208 inches. So there we go. With just a few small modifications, we now have the hitch peg without having to remodel the parts.